All right, today's project, we're going to be showing you guys how to remove wallpaper off of the wall like we have here today. Obviously, this is a section over here that we've already done. So I want to show you guys here kind of the process of what you need to do in order to remove this. This is another one of those jobs that, you know, it's not hard, can be very tedious, especially depending on how much glue the installers put back here on the wall. But we'll walk through a couple steps here where I'll show you how easily you can remove this, remove the glue, then also prep this surface so it's ready to paint. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a wallpaper steamer. Now the one we have here today, and I'll post some links in the description there below. This is the Wagner version. It's readily available on Amazon, anywhere from 50 to a hundred dollars there. So if you're interested in this one we're using here today, you know, check out that link, but essentially all it does is it uses water. So you fill the thing up with water, you plug it in, then it heats it. Once that gets heated up, then you use that to run across the surface where it heats up this wallpaper. So then you can easily kind of remove it there. So then obviously after you remove it, you need to go through and remove the glue, which we'll get into that step here in a few minutes. Then the last step, you're gonna to wanna to use a specialized primer. So then it's ready and prep for paint. So let me walk through the process here on what you gotta do in order to remove you know, the wallpaper first, which is our first step here with the steamer. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to use this score tool here. And essentially what this is gonna do is this is gonna go across your, your wallpaper like this. So just run. Just run it across there like that. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is take your steamer and you're gonna run that steamer across there and you're essentially just heating that up, you know, as we're doing here. So as that's getting heated up, you'll slowly start to see it kind of bubbling up a little bit there. Then you're able to take a putty knife and you're able to get in there and you're able to scrape it up. You know, some pieces will come up easier than others. Uh, you know, obviously if you're gonna get bigger sheets, it's gonna come up, you know, a little bit quicker there. But you know, this is generally the process there. You heat it up with the steamer, take your putty knife like we're doing here and go through there and scrape that out. So we'll go ahead and show you here for a minute, you know, how easily you're able to do this here with this steamer tool that we have here today. All right, so that's a general kind of overview of, you know, the process there. And I think you guys get the hint. You just go through there, you know, heat that up, and as we're doing there, and it'll slowly start coming off there. Once you get into bigger sections, sometimes it can be a little bit easier because you'll get bigger sheets to come off. Obviously, we're on a little, you know, corner here, so it's a little bit tedious around all these corners there. But as you can see here, once you heat that up, it's very easy to get this stuff removed there. All right, so after we remove all of the wallpaper, the next thing we need to do is we need to remove all of the glue that still remains on the wall. To do that, they make some of this wallpaper and paste remover. This is the Roman version. There's some other different brands out there. However, I've used this one a couple of different times and it's worked out well each time. This is a concentrate, so just follow the directions and mix it up to the appropriate square feet that you're trying to accomplish. All you need to do is just get a five gallon bucket, put some hot water in there, put the right dose of this in there, mix it up, then you're ready to go. All right, so here's our mixed up five gallon bucket here. So essentially just to have a microfiber towel there, go in there, you know, get a little bit of on there and wring it out some. You know, obviously you wanna leave a little bit on there, uh, but just wring it out like that. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is just take that towel and just kind of run it across the wall there. You know, let that sit for a few minutes there. It'll slowly break down that glue. So then after that's been sitting for a few minutes, then you're just gonna wanna take a putty knife and you'll see here as you go through here, you'll start slowly start scraping a lot of that glue off there just like that. And as you can see, you know, it comes off pretty well you know, after that sits for a little bit. So if it's not coming off well like it is here, just, you know, let it sit a little bit longer or maybe, you know, put a little more concentrate on there. Then it should, you know, easily remove it just like that. All right, so after we get all the glue removed, the next thing you want to do is just get a microfiber towel and just get some fresh water there and just go through across the wall there and just make sure you remove any additional residue that's still on there. After you've done that, obviously if you have any holes in the wall that you need to patch up, get some spackling or any type of joint compound there, make sure you fill that in. So the next thing you want to do is just, you're going to want to use a good quality primer. So the version that we've used a couple of times is this Pro RX. This is the Roman brand and you can pick this up at your local Sherwin Williams. You know, I recommend using this primer because what this will do is if you have any residue still on the wall, this primer will adhere to that residue and it will allow you to put a fresh coat of paint on there and you won't get any cracking. 
I've done this before where we didn't use this product and if you don't get all of that residue off of there, what will happen is that primer and the paint will not adhere to that wall correctly and you'll get cracks all through your wall there. So I recommend using this primer. It's you know kind of a sure safe way to prevent cracking and it takes minimal effort to put on the wall there. So again, I re recommend using this primer before you go ahead and paint the wall. So hopefully this helped you out here today. If it did, you know, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, you know, please hit that subscribe. But again, you know, I hope this helps you out and thanks for watching.